I really hope I picked the right one. Oh my god, I hope I picked the right one. Uh, let's cure the negative alteration there. Did I pick the right one, Chad? Did I pick the right one? I didn't, I like... If it was Emma, I don't know if they would have said, um... Like, ha ha, I've got you now, ha 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 ha, I've tricked you! Um... Maybe that'll reveal eventually, but I, I think... Uh, I think I got that right. Good God! They're all here! What a surprise, a gunshot went off, like... Where is Lord Mortimer? Can anyone hear anything through the door? Oh, what's, uh, what's, uh, going on over here, guys? Did you hear that? I was not dreaming, was I? Certainly not, Duke Godoy. What's going on? Someone had the band coming from the Duchess's room, and she isn't answering. Gentlemen, go back to your rooms. Go back to your rooms. I shall find out from Lord Mortimer what this is all about. Thank you. Oh, okay. Um, can I? My instructions are clear, sir. No one is to enter. Um, okay. All right. Um, I want to check to see if I can kind of, nope, can't sneak my way around. Um, Mother in the Garden Crypt. Now, uh, if I remember correctly, uh, I have to be on the first floor for that. Um, and we go, we can go through here. Um, to go, to go meet my mother. Um, cycle through here. I, I think I picked right, right team? It's gonna tell me I failed and I'm gonna be really sad. This is such a pretty room. Oh my god, I really like this room. Oh, oh, what I would do, what I would do. Um, all right, so this is the go-between. Um, this is the, uh, art gallery, um, I think. And then, ooh, let's keep it going. Um, let's head down to the crypt. Um, and let's, let's hope that mama doesn't tell me you, you literally, you ruined our chances. Um. One thing I will say, though. It makes for an interesting story, whether I got it right or not, so I'm okay. Let's head down. Let's see if, uh, if Mama's got anything going on. This feels like Dark Souls. Can I do uh, can I dodge roll? I, I should be able to dodge roll. Louis! At last, there you are. Yeah, I'm here. Mother, wait, I... Come, we have to be quick. No, wait, Mother, I... Time is running out, Louis. First, we must... No! That's enough. I won't go a step further unless you explain to me what is going on here. I'm begging you. Talk to me. You must trust me, my son. You are not ready yet. You're the one who should trust me. Tell me what's happening. You would never believe me. I came all the way here for you. Now I've found you. I'm ready, Mother. If only... Louis, I have always taught you to keep your mind open and rational. I know you are going to find this hard to believe, but what I am going to reveal to you is entirely true. Uh, okay. Many years ago, I found out that demons really do live among us. I beg your pardon? And that they can influence our thoughts. Oh, okay. Mother, listen to yourself. I know you're exhausted, but for crying out loud, listen to what you're saying. Demons? <laughs> what next? An ancient monster with a head like an octopus? What do your demons look like? Have they got horns and a, a pointed tail? They no, look like these Mortimer. are not creatures with billy goat's legs. Forget your Christian folklore. Imagine them more as parasitic spirits. They possess their hosts and direct them from inside. Parasitic spirits? Yes, they are capable of going from one body to another as they see fit. And two of them are present on this island. Right, so let me guess. 
Oh, oh, okay. The boogeyman and Father Christmas. You're... Jerk. Okay. So, two demon spirits. I don't think Washington and Bonaparte. They're really not... I don't think that either. The Vorner and Godoy, they're both... Um, I don't know. Mortimer and Holm makes the most sense to me. Um, that she doesn't necessarily trust, which is good. I don't trust either of them either. Um, but they can jump between bodies, so it, it shouldn't just be two Lord Mortimer people, and right? Gregory, right? You felt it too? No, even if home does look the part. <clears throat> but I don't know who else could do it, given that we're on their territory. Many years ago, well before you were born... I crossed paths with one of them. Since then, I've spent my life Wait a minute. trying to find it again. When we recovered the Alizif, I was persuaded that Von Burchard was working for this demon in one way or another. But I thought he would hand the book to a middleman during this conference. That's where I made an error. An error that could well turn out to be fatal. The one who Burchard was meant to give the book to was none other than the demon in person, Mortimer. Not to mention that Holm had sent Volner to get it for him. Holm and Mortimer are demons? They both seem to disagree about many things, but I'll admit I never knew exactly why. There are many of them, Louis. Not just those two. Mother, have you any proof to support any of this? Of course, but you do too. You had everything laid out in front of you. Didn't you notice anything? No, I didn't. Um, as I've learned from being a PhD, you, you just, you're just supposed to assume that you know everything. Yep. Yep. Totally noticed. Oh, frick. Uh, I mean, property deeds. The fact that he's immortal. Yeah. Um, well, those property deeds across the world, all signed by the same hand. That's weird. For several centuries. Yep. I am proud of you, Louis. I found Good. notes written in lemon juice. I did see that. All eyes size you up. At one stage, I was so afraid of losing my mind that I noted everything down. Where is everything then? Congratulations, Louis. Thanks. Wait, please tell me you didn't open Pandora's box. The urn? Yes, I did. Why? Oh. Too bad. We'll deal with it later. Oh. Oops. I went beyond the nightmare, Mother. You understood the Masonic date. 1191. Of course! It was during that siege that the demon took possession of Sir Mortimer. They spent a whole night in conversation until the early hours of the morning. Mortimer had passed the test. Okay, this took a he weird turn, just demon, saying. And so it chose him to be its host for centuries to come. But tell me, did you find his secret study? I did indeed. Mm -hmm. Did you see his maps of the world? I he did. contacts the world over. Yes, I've been developing the Golden Order across the world for many years. And I've never seen anyone with such influence. It's simply inhuman. He's ninja. Uh, let's check. I must admit, I found it difficult to understand how and why Mortimer didn't have a place in history. On the continent, Mortimer and Holm are mere dandies who organize society balls. History forgets them with a disconcerting facility. No one speaks about them, and yet they whisper in the ears of kings and presidents. And the conference. You mean the conference? How can you explain that someone manages to bring together so many important figures without anyone knowing? And without lots of money or personnel. Lots of money. All right. Louis, I am proud of you. Good, I'm glad. You came all this way. You found me. You have surpassed me you taught really? me everything i know right how did it all begin i saw him what what do you mean you saw him you saw the demon I was 20 years old i was young and carefree i traveled the world in search of adventure 
in the oh, to be young and carefree. We came across an ancient grimoire that became unlocked, composed of seven parts. Each one was a book in itself, set in a sort of metal armor that structured the whole thing. When all the volumes were brought together, they formed a single book. On my return to Paris, I set to studying these pages. I spent all my days and nights studying them. Oh, I can imagine you doing that. But the writing was in a language I had never seen before. Developed well before Sumerian, in my opinion. So I got the idea to form a small occult circle composed of all the major names in the occult world to see if anyone else could crack it. And you found no one. And I found someone, Louis. Mortimer. I found him. Or rather, he found me. He was young, charismatic, he was flamboyant. Oh no, oh no, he's, he's my... Oh. He's my dad. You mean Mortimer? He was a veritable mine of knowledge. I showed him the book, and he was able to decipher a few passages. We spent several months together studying the pages. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, but this is useful not to let her continue, but how old was he? Um, if he was still the same age that he is now, then... I mean, it doesn't necessarily prove immortal because... I guess you could constantly go forward and keep getting older, but not getting... I don't know. He was already old in those days, wasn't he? He was. So you recognized him when you arrived on the island, right? No, he wasn't in that body. Oh. But I know it was him. I oh, swear what? it was him. The way he spoke, his posture, a few of his intonations, his mannerisms. Wait a minute. You were talking about 60 years ago. I I've lost the thread. Yes, sorry. He helped me understand certain passages until I realized that he only translated a few parts for me. But I had aroused his interest. It was too late. How so? I mean to say he manipulated me. He used me, and in the end, he stole mm. the book with all its secrets. Did he ever go to your place? Not once. At least I don't think so. But before disappearing, he proposed a pact between us. He proposed that I follow him and let him teach me, allow him to bring me up. Oh, so you are going to be the demon. Shit, she caved. She must have refused, because otherwise the demon would have possessed her body. And you refused, of course. Why naturally, Louis. You don't make deals with the devil. After that, I spent my whole life looking for him. Three years later, in Berlin, I just missed him. In London, I lost six members of the order in a chase. In 1741, in Tunisia, I found a sect of fanatics who had crossed paths with him once. 1741, in Poland. 1749, in India. Eight years ago, in Venice. We agreed never to speak about what happened in Venice, Louis. I, I need to know. You agreed, and that was before you spoke to me about demons. Wait, the baby we delivered, you and me, that night in Venice, did he have anything to do with Lord Mortimer? The child was his son. We stole his son? Are you insane? <sighs> I always thought we took him to save him. That was the case. It was precisely to save him from his father. Need I remind you the mother died during childbirth? What became of the child? Later, for the moment, that Wait, what? was not the key issue here. Wait, what? Once we found the Alizif in Paris, I followed Von Borchardt's trail here. I didn't think it would lead me straight to the demon. It was careless of me. He toyed with me for a few days, until I caught on, until I saw him as he was. But he had no intention of letting me leave. We are all his pawns, Louis, and if we don't want to spend the rest of our lives turning round in circles here, we must absolutely get off this island. All right, can we move on? Wait a minute, one last thing. Oh, we only get one last thing. What happened with Elizabeth? Emma? Why the cannons for Bonaparte? Why? What? No, no. Uh, did you negotiate the Alice for the Volner? No. I found your letter in the wharf. I did find that. Why did you hide your effects on the wharf? Uh, Piaggi's, your, your hand? I do want to know about her hand. 
I gotta figure out what's going on with Emma and Emily. I'm sorry. Um, I, I, I need to figure out what just happened. I'm still reeling. I want to know what happened between you and Emily's sister. Great responsibility often brings difficult choices, Louis. That's all you need to know. What? No, no, no. That's not how that works. Mother, I won't take a step further if you don't answer me. You dare blackmail me? I'm listening. All right, I used her. So there you are. Happy now? We had the Al-Azif, and I didn't think we would be able to escape with it. In order to ensure that the book did not fall into their hands, or that one of them couldn't read in us where we had hidden it, I asked Emily it's to... Emma. Yes, or rather for me, it was Emily. So I asked Emma to hide it without anyone seeing. And then I disposed of her. I am sorry for her, but she was part of the Golden Order, Louis. She knew the rules when she joined. I'm so confused. Why was there Emily and Emma both behind me? Like one in front and one behind. And then Mother killed Emma as well? What? I mean, obviously, it looks like we can talk about lots of other things, but sure. I want to know what happened with Elizabeth Adams. Louis, we haven't time for those details. You're probably right. <laughs> so I can use all of my effort points in order to figure out what's going on. Um, oh, here's the, uh, here's the letter, the by the way. On my arrival, Cardinal Piaggi came looking for you. He was determined to give you a letter. More of his lists. Louis, I think I know what's in that letter, and I beseech you to believe that it is the least yeah, of our Yeah, it's the least of our worries, worries now. It doesn't matter. We can sort that out later. Okay, good. Um, hey. Are you going to tell me what happened to your hand? Better than that, I shall show you. Oh. oh. Okay. I think that's about right. I got we'll you. speak about it once we get back to France. Great actions for humanity have been decided by demons for centuries, Louis. They are playing with our destiny. We are their slaves. And it's time for it to stop. By the way, what was Mortimer's project at this conference? He demands that the oh, Spanish good. I hand should... over Louisiana to France. Oh, knowing him, it won't stop there. We should do our utmost to put a stop to Mortimer's plans. But, but what about being, what about Holmes plants? More Excuse me, Holmes plants. We, uh, madam, Holmes. Uh, oh, okay. Can you tell me why we're here. Oh, okay. There, that's why we are here. Oh, God. It's another biblical puzzle. It's another biblical puzzle. Shoot. So we we didn't learn a couple of things. Um, Piaget learned something from Alazif, the book. Could have been a witness of Napoleon Bonaparte's resolution. Um, but we didn't leave a trace whenever we were headed through Napoleon Bonaparte's room. Uh, we didn't break the window or anything like that. Um, we protected one of the Hillsborough twins, I guess. And went to see the crowd outside of Lady Hillsborough's room. Brick. Thanks for hanging out, team. We gotta... This took a turn. This took a turn. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!